Hi guys, it's Sarah. I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are. Today in Newcastle, it is kind of cloudy. It's starting to get a little bit darker. Welcome to 2024. And I look exactly the same as my last video, which you'll see. Um, but in this video, I want to talk about New Year's resolutions. I always do them, I sometimes keep them, I sometimes break them. I know not a lot of people like them because of the pressure that they hold on and then the disappointment that it can be when you don't necessarily fulfill them. But I'm hoping that with these New Year's resolutions that hopefully I can build some healthy habits, reach some exciting goals and actually push myself further um, and really dig deep. So if you are making some new year's resolutions i would love to know what you're doing how you're going to achieve them um and this is what this video is about i'm going to talk about what i want to do in different sections of my life um and i'm going to try and talk about like how i'm going to do this as well because if i can talk about how i'm going to do it it can kind of make it a bit more real and a bit more achievable. So for my goals for 2024, we're just gonna go straight into it. Maybe grab a cup of tea, a little snack, because I don't know how long this is gonna be. So my goals for 2024 um, have kind of been split into one, two, uh, three, four. So um, the first one I talk about, and it's the kind of the, the cliche one, so I'm just going to get this out of the way, the cliche one that, that everyone talks about when it is, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom myself in a little bit closer, I feel like I'm dead far away, I'm going to, yeah, talk about like kind of weight loss, fitness and things like that, it's, it's what everybody talks about, it's January 1st right now when I'm recording, um, I have a gym membership, I am part of a um, small group personal training session. I've been doing that since the middle of last year. I thoroughly enjoy it. I have made friends with some absolutely incredible women. Um, I like the fact that it challenges me physically and mentally. And I like feeling sore after a workout. Um, so with that in mind, for 2024, um, I do want to lose some weight, and I know that this can be kind of this can this bit can be a little bit triggering for some people. So if you don't like this, you can you can kind of zoot on the video. That's fine. Um, I have been overweight now for oh god, ages. I, I would say for the vast majority of my adult life. Um, with the last three years in particular being my heaviest. Um, I've lost weight. I've kind of put it back on. I've lost weight, and I was doing quite well in the middle of this year um, for starting to kind of eat better uh, with my training and things like that. And then I kind of fell off the wagon. So I have a couple months left on Noom. Um, I've got, oh no, I've got three months left on Noom before it auto renews. So I wanna see where I can go within that three months on Noom. Um, I paid for it um, and I really enjoyed it to begin with. And like any habit, you have to, um, keep going with it and I kind of I forgot a couple of days because I think I went away to a concert and then I forgot and then it and then I fell off so I just I'm going to start again so to lose weight I know ideally I'm happy with any weight um but what I would really like is to lose at least three stone um I know my body needs to lose the weight um I have and I've talked about this in uh, like a, a one of my fresh and flowers story time and boxing videos um I talked about how I had found out that I have got a hiatus hernia and I think this is more than likely caused from being slightly overweight and causing strain on my diaphragm and things like that so I know that I need to lose weight and it will benefit me not only mentally but physically as well uh, you know my back hurts um i get out of breath really quickly i do have asthma but like um i know that losing weight will definitely help with that so i know that to, to do this it is all about keeping up with the fitness that i really enjoy i really enjoy it um i know honestly you would have told kid sarah you're gonna enjoy the gym and she would have just gone <laughs> No. But I, I like I like doing it. It's sometimes you know it's that whole thing of like getting up, and um, but I like the fact that I do these small class sessions and that I kind of know people now and I've kind of created like a 
a kind of little friendship group that it, it does kind of motivate me more to go I what I need to start doing though is to go on days that when I'm not there so maybe doing like one of the free classes at the gym or just doing like a workout with Alex at the gym I want to be able to motivate myself but also motivate Alex Alex is a, a, a very fit person but like most people he's been off a week well should I say work from home from for like nearly nearly well it'll be four years in March you'll be you'll be working from home so it's kind of getting back into that habit and and, and kind of within that mindset it it's eating better and cooking more we this last year obviously 2022 again in that story time I go into what happened there but 2022 was really hard and we kind of fell onto the convenience of takeouts and this year 2023 shows you like this past year um we went hard for takeouts and my god takeouts are so expensive if you buy stuff from just eat it is i wonder where all my money goes which i'm going to talk about in a second it's takeouts so i love cooking and obviously we're in the middle of getting our kitchen done so like the, the main kitchen is in but it's not like in properly it needs to be it's going to be finished off at the end of january but I want to start utilising my beautiful new kitchen. I want to start cooking more. I love cooking. If you have any favourite recipes, please share. So I know that cooking my own food will save me money. I know that um, I will eat better. And I just want to use up all the stuff that I have in my fridge instead of looking at it going sad and slimy at the bottom of the fridge. And if you don't have a sad packet of lettuce or a salad bag in the bottom of your fridge, I want to know how you are doing it because everyone I know has that sad bot bag of salad leaves at the bottom of their fridge. And I know that I can, again, achieve this. Um, I want to do my minimum step count on my Fitbit. So I changed my step count from 10 steps a day to 16 because at the time I felt like I was hitting 10K very easily. And I thought, and then I was also doing like 15 Okay, so I thought 16, it's in between, it's a little bit higher than 15 offs, um, but not the full commitment of 20,000 steps. So I'd love to be able to do that every day. And I have made like a little kind of fitness lifestyle Instagram, which I'm gonna redo. Um, and I wanna post about like my meals and I wanna post about like my step count and fitness and things like that. So I'm gonna put them all there. And hopefully by the end of 2024, I'll be a little bit slimmer and my clothes will fit better and I will feel better and my body will feel better. So yes, that is the kind of the cliche fitness part of my New Year's resolutions. Then we're gonna talk about mental health. So again, I'm going back that story time. Mental health, you know, as a as a human, you know, it you get ups and downs, don't you? So I think for me, a big thing for me is to not be so hard on myself. If I don't achieve something, and I know it's a really human thing to, to, to do, and I know it's easier said than done, but I need to, instead of being like, I didn't achieve this, or um, I didn't do this, or anything like that, I need to think about what I have done and be grateful for that, and what I've either gone through, what all the all the good things, and I need to kind of unlearn these negative things that have come through me and um, that I've done for years and years and years and I'm incredibly hard on myself I don't know I don't think I, I know anyone who isn't hard on themselves but I think specifically when you start getting into that mindset um I'm incredibly hard on myself I need to stop taking things so personally or things to heart everyone's a bit defensive but I think linked up with how I feel with like my anxiety um and things like that I can read into a situation a lot more than what it actually is and I can get hurt quite quickly by that so I just think I need to again this sounds really blase but I need to not care as much about things or overthink things or take things too personally and again this is going to be a really hard thing for me to unlearn but I'm quite excited to see I've, it's, I've already started to see an improvement and people around me have said like oh god the old you would have like been chewing on that for ages and I think it's the fact that I um like taking um like tablets to help with that um but I think it's also starting to unlearn stuff as well I need to stand up for myself as well 
Sometimes I'm in situations where I'm just like, what the hell was that? And I need to be articulate in how I say things and how I stand up. So instead of like, there's obviously like a difference between taking things personally and then things being like, no, that actually isn't okay. Um, and I need to be able to grow as a person to be able to articulate and say how I feel that might not inflame a situation but allows me to be heard um, and that if I am shut down I need to be able to find a way to either bring it up again and be like no 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 and then go forward with it or let it go I mean I'm very good at letting go like in confrontation type of things like just like I yeah but it's about maybe just leaving it for now until that person can realise maybe, oh, actually, what I said wasn't okay. And then maybe whilst, you know, whilst the dust is still settling, maybe approach it again. But definitely, I am a doormat. I know I'm a doormat. So I need to stand up for myself. And on that same note, it's, you know, I see a lot of people saying this, and I'm quite fortunate to be very lucky in this situation, but it's not to waste my time on people who don't care about me. I would say pretty much everyone in my life I hope, cares about me. And I'm not in a situation where I'm giving all my energy to one person and not giving it back. I have done that many times in the past, but I want to make sure that I don't end up in that situation. Or if I do end up in that situation, I understand it quickly and then I just let, let them go. Um, and I want to chase up my talking therapy because I've been waiting so long for this. I know it can take about nine months, but God, I've been waiting. I think I've been waiting longer. I can't even remember when I put it in the form. I cannot even remember when I put it in the form, but I'm going to have to chase that up because uh, it's just been a really, really, really long time. Um, okay, so that was the end of the mental health thing. So I think they're not easy to achieve, but they're, it's a good start. And if I apply that, my kind of thing of like, like not being too hard on myself, then if I don't achieve anything from these 2024 lists, then I can't beat myself up about it. So personal, personal life. I'd love to be able to save some money. I had some nice savings, um, but I am an impulsive spender. Like I'll see stuff and I'm like, yeah, I want it. Yeah, I want it. And all the time I don't need it. Um, a lot of my friends are very like, hmm, hmm. When, when we go out shopping, they'll be like, oh, actually I might, you know, see how I feel. Uh, come back to it if I really want it. Whereas I'm like, no, nah, I like it. I'm gonna have it. So <laughs> I need to curb that. I'm also gonna take my card off my phone uh, because I feel like since having my card on my phone, I have been burning through my money much more quicker than not. And I'm also gonna be starting to use cash more because I feel like I'll be able to control my spending. So if I draw out 100 pounds for the month, that is all I've got to spend on bits and bobs, you know, like nice things for me, essentially. Whether that's a drink or my bus ticket or, and which doesn't sound like a nice thing for me, but honestly, sometimes it's nice not to walk into work. Um, or if I want an eyeshadow palette, do I want to spend like 30 pounds on an eyeshadow palette because that doesn't leave me with a lot of money? Or do I want to go out for a meal? That kind of thing. Um, I would love to read five books this year. I love reading, but I never find the time. And I think I don't find the time because I don't make myself find the time. So I'd like to read five books this year. So if you've got any book recommendations, leave them down below. Uh, what the last book I read? Last book I read. So you can't, that's how long it's been since I've read. I can't even do grammar properly. Um, well, I started to read the Hunger Games prequel, uh, but I got distracted. Um, so I gave the book back to my friend because I borrowed it from her. Um, God bless her. She'd been. I was like, "Are you sure you don't want to buy it?" She's like, "No, no, no. You, you, you hold on to it." Six months later, I've I've still only read five pages. Once I'm into a book, that's it's fine. It's just getting into it. So, yes, I think the last book that I read all the way through. Oh, I know what it was. It was the um, it was the Wind in the Willows. <laughs> was the last book I read all the way through. Yeah, keeping on top of house. So like keeping the rooms tidy, emptying the dishwasher because it's so easy to let things get on top of me. And I I know that when like a room, I mean, <laughs> I'm 
I know when a room is like messy, um, it can really impact like my mental health. Um, like I cleared the tidy, the cleared the living room for to put the Christmas tree up. Mwah, stayed beautiful like for, for like a week, and then we had to move stuff from the kitchen to the living room to make space whilst we were painting, and it's all gone messy again, and I hate it. So yeah, so I need to do that, and it's and and. And in doing so, if I finish the odd jobs around the house, everything can go back to its rightful place. Meaning, I will have a tidy room. Just going for more walks, exploring the UK. Um, we have a National Trust card, so going out to more National Trust places. Even exploring more places of the world. Alex isn't a big holiday person, but it would be nice if I could shoehorn him into going to some places. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all the personal stuff. Um, I suppose hug and hug and kiss Alex more maybe. <laughs> um, and then the last section is like YouTube and Korea. So I would really love for like social media to end up being my career. I, I didn't realize like how creative I was until um, I started doing like the social media for the Lush store that I work at. Um, and then I started doing YouTube more in lockdown and I really enjoy it. And when you're working full time and then you're trying to do like extra stuff like this, it is very time consuming. So I know that I need to prioritize YouTube as if it is a job um, and not keep putting it on the back burner. So I need, I, I want to be more consistent with my posting. So regular posting every week. Um, I want to, what have I got here? I wrote stuff as well. Like I've got stuff written. <laughs> Um, regular consistent posting, um, prioritise YouTube and content creating as if it was my job. So that even means like TikTok and Instagram as well. Like I want to diversify on different platforms. I want to try different things. Um, I really want to do that. And I'm hoping that, because my goal last year was so that I can make £200 a month consistently every month so that if I keep doing that, I can drop a day at work a month um no no yeah four days it would be a, a month at work um so that i can then focus on doing more and then it just you know kind of ee, 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 ee. it didn't happen and this year i've got loose hairs everywhere i i really want to take that step that plunge to do that i'd love to get to 7000 subscribers um on youtube i'd love to get to 5k on tiktok and instagram um and i know that putting effort into you guys and the content that will well, well that I, that will happen that will happen i'm confident in that i'm, I'm really confident that. i want to get one million views on youtube videos this year not on one video but like overall so like in 2022 they gave like a stat summary and i had not views it's like minutes and i had over one million minutes watched um in 2022 and it was amazing and then this year it was a really a small amount and I was like oh but that's because I wasn't posting as much so I really want to get back to where that was I want to I want to expand in different content types I know that a lot of you here are all for lush but I want to do other things as well and you know I'm a little bit like oh like would people like that so I'm just gonna dip me toe in and see what happens but yeah that is that is all of my New Year's resolutions. Um, oh, one thing I put on the, and I've not written down, but I'm gonna write down now, <laughs> is I want to do one live stream a week, which is gonna be on a Sunday, um, self-care Sunday. And I wanna do a proper live stream um, with you guys, where we just pamper and have a chat and stuff like that. I just think it's just gonna be fun. And I wouldn't mind, because I don't wanna overshoot myself, but I really wanted to have a go at like streaming like some gaming stuff like i love the sims and i love the lego games so maybe streaming something like that but i don't think i have the setup quite for that yet um but yeah that is <clears throat> my kind of ideal goals for 2024 i know it seems a lot but they all kind of merge into one essentially lose some weight be a bit more healthy keep looking after myself mentally save some money have some nice trips out uh, finish bits in the house and then make a bit of money on YouTube um, so that I can focus on making this a proper career. 
So if I just, I should down like that. That's the way I do it. But these are my goals. Um, and I'm excited at the end of the year to see if I do any of them. It'll be interesting. I did all right last year, I think. But yes, let me know what you think. Have you got some goals down below? Have I gone a bit crazy with what I've done? Do you see what I mean when I kind of like shortened it down in that sense? But yes, I would love to know down below. If you've got any recipes and book recommendations, leave them down below. And yes, if you like this video, you can give it a little thumbs up. And if you really like it, you can subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 4,000 subscribers. I am going to do a giveaway at 4,000. Yeah, like you can follow me on all my other social media platforms. Like I say, I'm going to be <laughs> posting more on there. And uh, YouTube will recommend some videos at the end. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.